In a late night vote, House Republicans on the Homeland Security Committee approved two articles of impeachment against Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. That move now sends the vote to the House floor, where lawmakers can decide the secretary's fate as soon as next week. The committee says that Mayorkas, quote, willfully and systemically refused to comply with federal laws over his handling of the border. If the vote succeeds, Mayorkas would be the first cabinet member to be impeached since 1876. But it's unlikely to gain any traction in the Democratic-led Senate, where it most certainly will fail and Mayorkas will keep his job. He never testified on his own behalf because he and the committee couldn't agree on a date. Democrats have slammed the rush proceedings as a political stunt. The sham impeachment of Secretary Mayorkas is a baseless political stunt by extreme mega Republicans. Chairman Green, Representative Margaret Taylor Green, and others have pushed for and even fundraised based on this pre-planned, predetermined scapegoating of the secretary. The extreme mega Republicans who are running the House of Representatives are deeply unserious people. They don't want progress. They don't want solutions. They want a political issue, and most of all, they want to please their disgraced former president. Joining us now, Democratic Congressman Jake Achenkloss of the great state, great commonwealth of Massachusetts. Congressman, great to see you this morning. Um, let's get your reactions to this hearing, the move to impeach Mayorkas, and, and talk to us about also the context here. They're trying to impeach the Homeland Security Secretary, who's trying to safeguard the southern border. At the same time, the Republicans or look like they're on the verge of scuttling a bill that would dramatically improve border security. Good morning, Jonathan. It's nice to be with you again. Uh, I agree with what uh, Ranking Member Thompson said in that clip. It's a farce. I impeachment is reserved for high crimes and misdemeanors, like, for example, when a president tries to overturn a free and fair election. That's the kind of thing you impeach somebody for. Impeachment is not for policy disagreements. If the Republicans have policy disagreements on the border, there is right now good faith bipartisan negotiations on a tough, fair border security measure. However, Republicans have said that that measure is dead on arrival in the House of Representatives while they pursue on a separate track this impeachment that has no basis in fact or law. So it tells the American people that the Republicans want to campaign on the border. They do not want to govern on the border.